Are you feeling overwhelmed by life's challenges? Feeling lost or drowning in a deep, dark, and endless sea? Feeling small in a big world, hopeless and helpless? Life is difficult. There are days when it is hard to just get out of bed. Eating or showering becomes a big obstacle. Have you ever experienced this? To be honest, I feel this way right now, but I want to move forward with hope. I hope what I impart in this video helps you through your challenges as much as it does me. Inspired by Brendan Fraser, I created art that reflects overcoming difficult challenges yet continuing to push forward and find success. Despite facing financial and personal hardships, Brendan overcame them with determination and hope. Watch on and I will share to you his story of experiencing rock bottom and redemption. It is my prayer that the art speaks to you and you too can become inspired to keep moving forward and hoping. Brendan Fraser is an actor born in 1968 who rose to fame in the 90s with his roles in popular movies such as The Mummy, George of the Jungle, and Sino Man and Airheads, if you still remember those. He captured the hearts of audiences with his charismatic performances and good looks, becoming a heartthrob for many. For sure, I rewatched his movies as a kid a lot when I was growing up. His movies had been a part of my childhood. However, life wasn't always easy for Brendan. In 2007, he went through a difficult divorce with his wife, Afton Smith, which left him financially drained and struggling to find leading roles in movies. The divorce was particularly tough on him as he was ordered to pay $900,000 a year in alimony and child support, which was a huge financial burden. He even reasoned to the court that his star power was no longer as strong and he would not be able to pay that steep amount. However, he was not granted a lower alimony as the court judged that he was trying to get out of these payments. With his career, in 2018, Brendan took a stand and publicly divulged an incident of alleged inappropriate physical advance from the former president behind the Golden Globe Awards Association. This incident happened in 2003. He claims that this had made him feel reclusive against the industry and made him miserable. He now stays firm against attending the award ceremony despite being nominated for a Golden Globe for his acclaimed The Whale performance. He knew that it would not sit well with the system and there would be repercussions against him in Hollywood but he decided to stand by his principles. Despite these challenges, Brendan never gave up. He kept pushing forward, taking on smaller roles, and working hard to rebuild his career. I can only imagine how tough that must have been for him. Oftentimes when we are facing difficulties, there is a strong desire to give up, cave in, and listen to the doubts that are screaming at us. But Brendan remained determined to overcome his difficulties. In 2016, Brendan starred in the television series, The Affair, which helped him get back into the public eye. An internet movement like the Reddit hashtag Save Brendan became trending. At the age of 54, he made an incredible comeback and won the Best Actor Award at the Oscars Awards in 2023 for his role in the critically acclaimed movie The Whale. It was amazing to see him back on top inspiring others to never give up on their dreams. In his emotionally moving Critics' Choice Awards acceptance speech, Brendan talked about his struggles and how he was able to overcome them with the support of his loved ones and colleagues. He said, You just feel like you're in a dark sea. I want you to know that if you too can have the strength to just get to your feet and go to the light, good things will happen. His words resonated with me and reminded me that we can overcome any obstacle with perseverance. Life is difficult, but it is never too late. 
the future with all its uncertainties feel scary, but do not give up. Start now, go towards the life that you want, and believe in yourself. Yield the strength that you already have in your heart and go to the light. And I'm sure that good things will happen. You may be near your breakthrough, so please keep moving forward. And here, I impart some lessons I've learned from John Maxwell's book, Failing Forward, so we can all journey towards moving forward with life despite setbacks. Number one, reframe failure as a learning opportunity. Maxwell encourages us to view failure not as a negative outcome, but as an opportunity to learn and grow. Like Brendan Fraser's journey shows how setbacks can be used to build resilience and find new paths towards success. Number two, take responsibility for failures. Maxwell emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for one's own failures rather than blaming external factors. Brendan could have been sad and depressed against his wife asking for more financial support but he took on his financial struggles and personal challenges and took ownership so that his mistakes can lead to personal growth and success number three embrace a positive mindset maxwell encourages us to develop a positive outlook which means focusing on the opportunities that come from failure rather than dwelling on negative outcomes. As the saying goes, if one door closes, another one opens. Brendan Fraser's journey demonstrates the power of a positive mindset in overcoming adversity. While he may have hit rock bottom of not being able to get leading roles in movies, he still tried to get smaller roles and eventually he got to the role where he would be recognized. You too will have your breakthrough, but remember to keep moving forward and have a strong and positive mindset. Number four, take action towards success. Maxwell emphasizes the importance of taking action towards one's goals, even in the face of failure. Brendan's story shows how perseverance and taking small steps towards success can lead to breakthroughs. As one of my favorite psychologists, Jordan Peterson, taught, if you focus on being better as a person or on a skill and invest your time to learn and take action, even for just 1% today, (coughs) after a time, you would have found that you are 10%, 20%, 50% better than who you were yesterday. Later, you would be surprised to find that you have already achieved your starting goal and moved towards the life and the you that you want. Your dreams will not work unless you do. To also reflect this, in the movie Kingsman, Colin Firth said, There is nothing noble than being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior than your former self. Number five, learn from failures. Maxwell encourages us to reflect on the failures and identify what we can learn from them. Brendan's journey demonstrates how learning from past mistakes can lead to personal growth and success. Brendan's story is truly inspiring and shows us that no matter what life throws our way, we can overcome it. You will also have your time of success, of recognition, of all of the hard work and tears that you put into your life and for others. I hope that these tips that I'm also using for my life right now will also help you through the challenges that you're facing right now. Brendan is a true inspiration and his resilience and determination are qualities that we can all aspire to have. Keep pushing forward towards your goals. You will get to where you want your life to be. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope that you feel better. And as always, 
I am with you through art, books, and music in tough times. So I hope you had a good day, relax, and keep moving forward.